watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. One of the key players for Kentucky Volleyball is Ali Stumler. In Monday night's Elite Eight matchup, the junior outside hitter had a match high 16 kills plus 10 clutch digs for her eighth double-double of the season. Anna caught up with her ahead of tomorrow's Final Four appearance. All right, Allie, first of all, what is this moment like for you preparing to go to Kentucky's first Final Four in program history? Um, honestly, it's just been a surreal moment, just kind of soaking it all in these last couple days. Um, you know, we talk about how this team, there's not a team more deserving to be here in this moment and, you know, chasing after a national championship. So I think at first it was like, this is awesome. Soak it all in. And now it's like, all right, let's get down to business and focus on what we deserve. Like we deserve to be here. So we're kind of flipping that mindset and um, just getting ready to take on Washington, focus on our next match. And just this morning, you were named an AVCA first team All-American. Give us your reaction. It's crazy. Um, just honored, blessed to be part of a team. I think we had six people on that list, which is unheard of. It's nuts to be playing with just great people, you know, on the court, obviously, and off the court. Um, it's so cool. Just, you know, set goals. That was one of my goals this year was actually to be an All-American on the first team. So it's just awesome to see um, some goals come to fruition. And another goal on my list, you know, every day before practice, I wrote, going to be a first team All-American, going to be a national championship. So I was able to check one of those off today and then hopefully in a couple of days, check off another one. Oh, yeah. All right, let's take it back to Monday night. Your performance was unreal. 16 kills, 10 digs. How did you feel coming off of that game? Um, I don't even know. The emotions were all over the place. Um, it was kind of crazy. We weren't sure really what to expect with Purdue. We played them in the past um, in the tournament. I feel like we always get matched up with them, and you just never know really what you're going to get. Um, obviously, they were ranked seventh, I think, so they're awesome players. And I have a really close friend on that team as well, so – um, I know how they play, and they're awesome superstars. So that first match was obviously really close. I think we were down 17-12, which is um, nuts to come back in the first set. And that first really can, first set can go either way. So we were just focused on, you know, once we called a timeout and we were down, just focusing on, okay, next point. So how do we get point 12? Then how do we get 13? So kind of just rallying back and not focusing on the score. You know, I was talking to the people who were on – the court and I was like, wow, I had no idea we were actually down by, you know, five, six points early, um, or I guess late in that first set. So just crazy to know that we're just focused on next point, next point, just taking care of our side, controlling what we can control. And um, it's awesome just that we could battle back from that, really get pushed, tested. That was really a big test for us against a really good Big Ten team. So a lot of emotions, awesome to see us battle. You were also all over Twitter that night. Did you check it and see how many people were talking about you and the team? I did. There was a lot of a lot of notifications, that's for sure. I think I was talking to Craig and he said he had like over a hundred text messages and notifications blowing up the phone. So it's awesome, such an honor and blessing just to be in this position, you know, for the phones to be blowing up and tons of people back home supporting. So it's awesome. Now, Coach Skinner mentioned a few weeks ago that one, of the that one of the things that makes this team so great is you all are still getting better every day in practice. You have a 74 record the past four years in the SEC. So you're not just winning, you're dominating, yet every single day you think there's still room for improvement. So these couple of days in between games, what have you all been focusing on to improve? Absolutely. That is a huge thing of this team. Just focus on um, – I think something that makes our identity and who we are as Kentucky Volleyball is that, you know, we never settle. We always want to increase no matter what the skill is, whether it's on or off the court. Um, we just always want to get 1% better. So every day we're focused on, you know, one thing we come into practice. What's that one thing that you're going to get better on today? And our team really hones in on that, which is great. Um, so obviously rest and recovery is really big right now coming off of big games and you have like one or two days to kind of get your body right, do treatment. Um, fuel, food, all of that is super important. But just, um, I think just getting touches, you know, when we get in the gym, it's not, oh, we're going to grind super hard, but more so just like break a sweat, get the feel for the ball. You know, we're changing environments, changing gyms. So really big is just rest. And then um, scouting our opponents is huge at this point. All right. One more quick question, Allie. What's going to be the one key to beating Washington? 
Great question. Um, I think just focusing on our side, you know, we um, have what it takes, obviously, to be here in this position. Your team has to have talent. That's not a question, but just grit and determination. Our team has it, and we're going to do whatever it takes to beat our next opponent. So just really focusing on our side and controlling what we can control to make awesome. us the best. Thank you, Allie. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Next on BBN Tonight, we turn our attention to football. I'll go one-on-one -on -one with new wide receiver Wandell Robinson. We'll be right back.